everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Molly, and today I'm going to be reacting to the new teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode Nine. So, I actually am probably one of the few people that for some reason was unaware that this was coming out today, so it was a surprise, pleasant notification for me, but luckily I was already getting set up to potentially film um, when the Mortal Kombat 11 combat cast comes out around 4 o'clock um, Eastern Time today, so I figured, since I'm here getting ready anyway, why don't we jump on and react to this? I've been a big Star Wars fan ever since I was a very little young child. Um, my parents introduced it to me for the first time. I was probably only five or six years old the first time I saw the original trilogy, and then I've watched it every Star Wars film that exists multiple times um, throughout my life since then. So I'm very excited to see what is going to be brought to the table here. Um, and it's a teaser trailer, so I don't anticipate we're going to get a ton of information, but I'm still excited. <laughs> so let's watch it. Let's jump in. Here we go. We've passed on all we know. A thousand generations live in you now. But this is your fight. All right, okay, so just a couple things. First, as I predicted, teaser trailer, so it's not gonna really give too much away, but it actually showed more than maybe I thought. I was kind of anticipating more of just like the first scene with, with Ray, and maybe that would be like it. So it showed more than I thought. Um, I like the use of Leia's theme there. That was very nice and sad and got pretty excited uh, when I saw Lando. <laughs> Back with Chewie in the Millennium Falcon. Um, so then I guess, uh, I suppose the big surprise from this trailer is gonna be after Luke's voiceovers where he's saying no one's really gone and then we hear Emperor Palpatine cackling in the background. So is this, I guess, is suggesting that he's also gonna still be around in some form? Um, you know, maybe is he gonna be communicating with Kylo Ren somehow, or is something else happening? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so that was, that was curious, interesting development. And then of course, the title is The Rise of Skywalker. Hmm. So that is interesting to me too, because uh, if it's talking about Rey, if it's suggesting that she has some sort of Skywalker background, family background, that, that she's like Luke's child or another child of Leia or something, I don't know, then that obviously would be 
indicating that what Kylo Ren suggested in the last film about her just being a no one um, and the idea that she was just someone the Force kind of chose would be incorrect. And so I'm curious if that's what they're going with. And if it is, are they going with the whole twin idea or is she going to be Luke's child? Um, we also know that Carrie Russell is playing an unidentified role in this film, so there's been some speculation that maybe she is Rey's mother, with Luke being the father. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about any of this. I guess it would all depend on how well it's pulled off in the film, if that's the case. Or maybe, you know, maybe it's something else entirely. Maybe they're talking about the rise of, like, the Skywalker side inside Kylo Ren and him, like, being brought back to the good. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm very curious about that title. Um, all right. Well, that was interesting. Not too much information found out, but, but leading to a lot of speculation, I'm sure. So tell me what you guys think. If you have any thoughts, leave it in the comment section below. Um, same thing if you have any questions for me, just leave questions, comments right down below. And other than that, I'm just going to wrap up this video and say thank you for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.